So we are at Waya Bald at the fire tower. It is an absolutely beautiful, unbelievable day. We were able to see Standing Indian Mountain over there where we hiked a few days ago. And then if we turn all the way around, we actually even can see parts of the Smokies where we will be headed um, in a few days. And so we are going to find a not windy, warmer place to sit and eat lunch. But this uh, Waya Bald is over 5,200 feet. So we are much higher than a mile. So we're gonna find a not windy place to sit, but not a bad place to take a break. Lunch time. Lunch time. So we've been climbing like 700 feet in a mile. So it's been a, a tough uphill climb, but right here on the trail is the Cold Spring Shelter. It's one of the oldest shelters on the trail, built in 1933. It's small and it's right on the side of the mountain. And actually, if you look there in the woods, you can see the privy. It's camouflaged, but there it is. So we don't know if we'll be staying here, but it's cool to see one of these original Appalachian Trail shelters. So the shelter was empty when we got here last night. So we did stay here in the Cold Spring shelter and it was cold. 1933, it was very cool. We were joined by a section hiker from Georgia and a through hiker from Australia. So the girls loved um, talking with him and asking him all kinds of questions about Australia. So we're getting ready for a 4,000 foot descent today into the knock. Um, we're gonna camp right before the knock so we can go in tomorrow morning and get our box and then do the seven mile climb out of the knock. So we are about ready to go here from Cold Spring Shelter. Honestly, I'm just saying that like if they were like competing, then maybe they might have those as points or something. So we came to the knock and got a bunk room for the night. We're talking about these numbers for the kayaking that they teach here. Matthew picked up our next box, which is not super fun because he now has to walk with that on his head. It was a hard day. We did like 2,000 feet of descents, which kill your knees, kill your ankles, kill your toes. So we're glad for a bunk bed tonight because it might rain. So this is our first restaurant of the trail. We were so hungry. We ate a plate of fries in what, 15 seconds? Yeah. It was pretty quick. We are packing up and leaving the bunkhouse at the knock. How'd you sleep last night, Amelia? Pretty good. Beds were hard, but it was out of the wind, out of the cold. We didn't have any rain and we're very grateful. So we unpacked our food supply. Our packs are much heavier today. We're gonna do one last stop at the bathroom and go. All right, we're getting ready to leave the knock and to go get our passport stamped. Here's where we're hoping to go today. Sassafras, Sassafras Gap Shelter. Hope so. It's super uphill. You guys don't need our, our mascot. Got to get a picture of the mascot. Here. Look all official. Ooh. <gasps> 
guess it's a frog. I thought it was an alligator. That is so cute. My favorite frog. This was my hiking partner when I hiked the AT 25 years ago. Yes. I lose track of time and what? date. Sure is. Maybe it's the 27th. It is, yeah. Yeah, because yesterday was the 26th. Alright, I'll see y'all up, though. Bye, Adios. Yeah. See you, Will. Thank you, Randy and Ox, for building these stairs. so grateful to be slack packing today thanks to Randy whose trail name is also rehab and slack packing us so that we can do a 14 mile day from Stokoa Gap to Fontana 14 and, a half. 14 and a half excuse me so we are grateful and much much faster We hiked 14 and a half miles today. Woo!